the perfect mobile video workflow. What is it and what the hell is a mobile video workflow? Could be shot in a GoPro. Could be shot in your phone. Any tiny little camera that you have. It's the last thing anybody wants to do is start dragging around a big butt camera. Something with changeable lens. I'm sure you got the depth of field, but if you're only kind of making short YouTube videos. <sighs> if you're making YouTube videos and you're going to be doing lots of different things like 4K24, 4K60, 120 frames per Peter Mac. Is that slow enough? Our time lapses. See, it's not really about the camera when you're out and about in mobile workflow. Do you really have to be dragging a big PC or a MacBook with you because these things are really heavy, even though some of the MacBooks are light? What do you do? Can you actually edit and put together a proper video on something like an iPad? Yeah, of course you can. Here's the timeline. Okay, don't believe me? Here's a time lapse. Now, how did I get everything onto the iPad itself? Well, this video, some of the stuff that you've seen in the sequence was shot on the GoPro Hero 8 Black and also on the iPhone 11 Pro. You're thinking, and by the way as well, I've got a big surprise at the end of this video, so please stick around till the very end to see what happens. What I did for the GoPro and the iPhone 11 Pro is I transferred the video files wirelessly. So completely mobile, absolutely no cables. And then once I transferred them wirelessly, I imported them into Adobe Premiere Rush, which by the way is free and this is what I use for putting this together. Impressions of Premiere Rush for this was mm, just a little bit frustrating because I'm kind of used to Adobe Premiere Pro, which you can do lots of different things. So one of the downfalls I found with Adobe Premiere Rush is that you can't kind of set in and out points the way you normally would in the source window and drag in your clip. It's kind of all in and it's, yeah. The other big downfall that I found with it is that you can't see any file info. So unless you specifically know what framework you shot what in, Oh, you don't know. So I knew some of the GoPro stuff was 120 frames per Peter McKinnon. I knew some of the iPhone stuff was 24 frames per second. But other than that, I was like, which is which? Is which? Ah. And then the other problem is you can't set a sequence size. So the first clip that goes onto the timeline in Adobe Premiere Rush, that designates what resolution the video is going to be. However, it all worked. So is it the perfect mobile video editing workflow? Absolutely not. Premiere Rush is great if you're doing very short kind of big videos for social. Uh, I haven't got LumaFusion, I haven't tried it. I'm thinking, is that a better option? Can the iPad Pro be the kind of replacement for a desktop? Don't get me wrong, it's not clunky, it's small. You can just like carry it like this. Yes, you can do with a MacBook as well. And it's that kind of touch capability is good and useful in places. Premiere Rush is not entirely perfect. It's got lots of flaws as I've highlighted. But you know, there's one thing actually, and maybe I should be taking that back because this entire video, even the part you're seeing now, right now, this, which has been shot on the Sony a6600, that was all edited as well on the iPad Pro in Premiere Rush. So how did I get the footage from the a6600, which has got an SD card into the iPad Pro? Well, this is a memory card reader. It's by Anchor. This is a memory card reader. It takes memory stick. It's a really old one I have. It takes SD card and a case, the, the small one as well, the mini SD card, the TF card. And of course it also takes CF card if you've got that. And you're like, okay, Vic, that's good, but it's got a USB, normal USB. And the iPad Pro is USB-C. So what happens? You get one of these, you get it from Apple. It's a USB-A, C? It's a converter in it. So this goes in here. Oh, was the wrong way. This goes in here, that plugs in here, your memory card goes in here, and then you take the files across. So is it the perfect mobile editing solution? Absolutely, again I say no, but with a little bit of ingenuity and a converter, and of course you can actually get just a, a card reader that's got a USB-C connection, so you wouldn't need this. 
you can get all of your stuff onto the iPad and, and just go from that. And this video <laughs> literally blew my mind in a really bad way to make. But maybe LumaFusion is something I can take a look at and see, is that the way forward? Because Premiere Rush, great for small things, something like this, it works, but it's just... Mm -hmm.